Good afternoon, everyone. It's Anika Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, my contemplative time this morning has been very much about the work of art around us and the work of art that we are. And I, of course, was linking this with what we manifest with our thoughts, with our words, with our actions. And it's so much related to our perspective on things. Now, you might know, I, I certainly have a lot of clients and friends that will say, oh, Hadifa, you're very optimistic. You've got a positive perspective. But that's that's not how I am. I'm, I'm and they'll usually use the other word, and they'll say, I'm just not like that, right? And I would like to make sure that people know that I am optimistic, and I do believe I've been so for quite a bit of my life, but it's not that I was just like that automatically. I will say that it's a mindful attention to being who I want to be. And this is something that anyone can do, but I would like us in this video to think about how we are all our own creation of our work of art. So this quotation is by Henri, I think it's Henry, but it's Henry in North America and maybe Henri Matisse um, as a French name. This quotation was beautiful. It says, a work of art must carry in itself its complete significance and impose it upon the beholder even before he can identify the subject matter. Did you hear that? So I'll read it one more time. It says, a work of art must carry in itself its complete significance and impose it upon the beholder before, even before, he can identify the subject matter. And can you understand this? That when we see a work of art, and we can think easily in nature, we could see this, right? So we can see like mountains and they're majestic, and we can see a waterfall, or we can see a river, or we can see a flower, right? And it's such a work of art and we can really feel it, right? There's, there's nothing even that needs to be said. And the same thing happens with people, right? Don't some people that they just, they pop, right? They just help you feel lifted. I mean, even when you just see them, it's like, wow, that person's got such an awesome energy, right? And you feel it. And it is artwork to behold, right? This is a work of art. Now, a lot of people will say something like, oh yeah, that person's a real piece of art. <laughs> and I'm sure you might've heard that line. And oftentimes when people will use that, it's because they're thinking of something not so good that that person is so not easy to work with and or speak to or be around. And that's the work of art that they are, that sort of idea. Yet, isn't it interesting how the mind thinks that so many people do not say that when they see something awesome, right? They see something that's amazing about another person. They don't say, what a work of art. Like, it's so beautiful, right? Oftentimes, it's like, that's ah, a really nice uh, person or I really think that they're good and I'd like to be like that or I could never be like that. So all of those sorts of things will come up, but sometimes it's just a matter of really appreciating the work of art that we are creating ourselves too, right? So this is, I like to encourage people to take ownership for our own experience. So today I wanted to focus on the fact that our thoughts, words, and actions all create our own work of art. We are creating ourselves. So in that perspective, of course, this is what I work with my clients with regularly. And today I wanted to just plant a seed of thought in your mind about what you think, what we think, what we speak, what we do is all affecting our manifested creation. So if I am thinking regularly about Ah, oh, people don't treat me so well. And I can tell you that we've all gone through those times, right? So I can certainly say that at our least easy times in life, we're most likely to move into, we'll say, mostly uh, almost like a victim sort of mindset, right? Like, wow, nothing good happens to me. And why does this always happen to me? And how could they do this to me? Or how could that person, anyone, it could be a stranger, it could be a person that we know, right? And I've certainly been through that experience. And this is why I can be very understanding about this. To me, we eventually might awaken to see that, wait, that happened. And now I'm feeding it with the thought of thinking about it again and again. And then I speak about it. And again and again, I bring this up. And I'm reliving it each time, right? That understanding is a big step. 
And so we realize that we are creating our experiences. So I speak with people who have had to go to the hospital, for example, and a lot of people don't uh, enjoy going to the hospital. Who would enjoy going there? Most people who go to the hospital know that there's going to be a long wait. And then a lot of people notice the interactions that they have with the healthcare providers that are there. And oftentimes I will hear from people of, it was such a not good experience. This is how long the wait was. This is how this person spoke to me. This is how they treated me. All of these things are happening. And all of those are true facts. There's something about our mind that's seeing that too, that if we can catch ourselves, that what was the energy or the emotion or the thought process as I was heading to the hospital? I was thinking about, oh, I think I'm going to learn something that's not so good. And this can happen whether you're going for yourself or a friend or family member when either they're going or you're going with them and be thinking, oh, I hope that they, everything goes okay. And I sure hope that they get answers, but what could they learn? They might learn something really not good. I hope it's not anything too not good. All of that sort of stuff will be going through our minds as we're heading to the hospital. And when a person gets to the hospital, it's like, oh, I knew it. It's so busy. And who's going to pay attention to me? And I've got this much of a lineup to get through. And then when we sit down and we start looking at people and they didn't treat that person very nice, or that person looks more sick and they're still not getting help. So if they can't even get help, when will I get help? And wait, this person doesn't look like they need any help. And I'm in a much worse situation than that person. So these comparisons happen in our minds. Then someone speaks to us and it's like, well, that wasn't a very kind way that they spoke to me after I've waited this much time, right? All of that one thing is building on another, building on another, and it creates the experience that we go through. So unless we're mindfully attentive, no matter where we are about where our mind is at, we won't realize that those thoughts are then leading to words that we're speaking or another is speaking to us because it leads to our experiences. So our experiences are shaped by all of this beforehand. Now, you know, this might seem like, wow, that's a lot of work to do. It's just a mindful attention, right? So remember that if we're planting something into the ground, we don't expect it to come up tomorrow, right? We plant some seeds and we know that this is going to take some time and it'll take some care and eventually we might see a little bit of sprouting, right? And we have patience for that because we expect it. When we're doing something to improve ourselves, we almost expect that the result will be immediate. So what we manifest will happen because, you know, I was good all day today and I was so thoughtful this time when I went to the hospital. Well, how many years have you not been in that space? that is then leading to the manifestation of today. And unless we take some time to thoughtfully reflect on who am I, what do I carry with me, what am I spreading around me, then we don't start experiencing different experiences in our lives. And of course, this is what I work with with my clients, so I'm hoping that today's video will help a few people start thinking this way. And I wanted to finish with this one quotation, which is all about manifestation. And this is the artwork that I want us to work on, of course, right? The artwork of ourselves, but manifestation is happening all around us, right? And I thought this is a quote that many people might be able to understand. So here it is. This is by Lawrence Galleon, and it says, spirit is to matter as ice is to water. In other words, the same substance, but in a different state. As you admire the beauty of the intricate frost lace work on a winter window pane, you might pause to reflect that invisible lines of force existed before the frost. The cold manifests the beauty of the lines of force. Did you get that? I'm going to read it one more time so you can hear it one more time. So this says, spirit is to matter as ice is to water. In other words, the same substance, but in a different state. As you admire the beauty of the intricate frost lace work on a winter window pane, you might pause to reflect that invisible lines of force existed before the frost. The cold manifests the beauty of the lines of force. And isn't that beautiful? Now we also are creating lines of force in, it, in ourselves. So our lines of force are shaped by how we're thinking, how we're speaking, how we're acting in every moment. So moment to moment to moment, if we are mindfully aware of how am I thinking, how am I speaking, what is my experience? And again, remember, it takes years of doing this 
that is these invisible lines of force that we're creating within ourselves that then manifest. This is what we experience as our life. And I would love for you to think about that for five minutes after this video. I would love you to know that you in a different state, right? So this is this, the same stuff, substance, but in a different state is us. But if we're in a state of la, <laughs> not feeling so great, we will be manifesting that experience. If we're in an uplifted space, we will be manifesting this. And again, to remember that this takes time of making sure that it's that important what I'm manifesting as me, as my work of art, that I do this mindfully. So for five minutes after this video, if you can sit and manifest, what are you optimistic about in this moment? That it could be the person that's sitting beside you that you've just maybe even not had a great conversation with. Can you think about a few great things about that person or that relationship, a few great things about the environment you're sitting in, about nature, about anything, about the last book you read, right? Anything to manifest that energy within your system, which is creating invisible lines of force for your life experience. I hope you give that a shot today. I hope you have a fantastic day ahead and I hope you remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.